today's video, I am super excited because I am going to be showing you the inside of my fridge. I love how I opened that saying, I'm so excited to show you my fridge, but I am because I love seeing the inside of other people's fridges. Now, I know that might sound weird. To me, I really find it interesting to see what's in other people's refrigerators because I think since we get in our own little world, we forget what other people eat. And when people are really trying to eat healthy and take care of themselves, I love seeing what that entails for them and what's in their refrigerator. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. Now, some of you might be like, how does this tie into how to be happy? Now, if you've been watching the whole series, um, maybe it kind of makes sense to you, but if not, or if you would just like me to kind of expound upon it, I'm going to do so right now. Um, if you've heard me talking about fitness and food and all of that, and I think that that all plays into our emotional state and our mental well-being so much. I heard a saying um, in a few different books I was actually reading. They were saying that the way that you treat food is how you treat everything else and kind of how you feel about yourself, which I found to be really interesting. And the thing is, how you treat your food doesn't have to be a reaction. It's not like, oh, well, that's just how I feel about myself, so I'm reacting that way, and this is how I'm treating my food, and this is how I eat. You can make a conscious choice and decision to eat a certain way, to treat your food a certain way, to, I'm spitting all over myself, stop during the day to feed yourself and take care of your body and then that radiates out into other areas of your life if that makes sense you know um i see it with friends or you know different people i've known where they treat food very much like it's it's like this horrible like like very restrictive very like it causes a lot of stress and when i've seen myself go through that in my life i notice that i just it goes into other areas. I'm not treating myself very well. And I've said this before in my other videos last week that like taking care of yourself through the way that you eat and taking the time to make good meals for yourself sends a subconscious message to yourself saying that you're worth it. And it's kind of like another way of doing affirmations, which I'm really bad at doing. And taking care of myself through my food is like doing affirmations. It's telling myself multiple times a day through my actions that I'm worth it. And then I'm also nourishing my body and helping rid my body of toxins so that I can be happy and not have crazy mood swings and, and be sad and all that. And obviously, I do feel that there is way more to being happy than just what goes into your mouth, but I think that it plays a much larger role in happiness than people like to think that it does. So with that being said, this was actually the state of my fridge a couple days ago. I filmed it a couple days ago. I need to now restock it. We're actually going grocery shopping today. But with that being said, let's hop right in. Okay, so I'm gonna briefly go through my fridge and kind of explain to you what I have and the way that we're gonna try to be eating and why we have certain things. Now, I definitely don't have a perfect diet and I definitely am not a doctor, so I think that everyone should eat what's right for them. But in general, I do think that a lot of fruits and vegetables or vegetables and fruit are really important. So, we start at the bottom. On the right, this is our greens drawer. So, in this drawer, it's just like it sounds, it has all of our greens, spinach, dandelion, whatever they're called, um, dinosaur kale, collards. Now, they're not in the bag because I don't really want them chilling in the plastic, I just decided. Um, but they're all clean, they're organic, and I have all these drawers, like they've all been cleaned and sanitized with like natural cleaners. So I'm fine having it just sit in the drawer. Although I just realized having it sit in the drawer in a bag is probably the same thing, but there's that part. Over here, I have my citrus fruits and apples. So exactly what I just said, oranges, lemons, uh, red apples, whatever those red and green kind of apples are, mini apples, did I already say lemons and limes, oranges? Well, that's what's in that drawer, so. Okay, up here, I have a Tupperware that I put like zucchini, it's all organic and a lot of it's local, but I put zucchini, cucumbers, um, the yellow squash at the bottom, that's falling. And then in this Tupperware, I have all pears. So I have these brown pears and then these red pears. 
and I've really been liking pears lately. And our Lassen sells local organic pears, so I'm I'm really really liking them. So over here, oh hi Bowsy, hello. <laughs> over here I have um, organic blueberries. I've been putting some in my juice and then eating some, and I think tomorrow I'm gonna eat them on maybe some Ezekiel cereal. We have a sweet young coconut. Dan loves those things. He used to eat them all the time in Singapore. <gasps> the puppies have joined us. Hi, hi, oh hello. Okay, you should probably get out of my fridge. <laughs> um, on this plate right here, cilantro. I have basil that's like starting to die, but I'm gonna use it tonight in a lasagna. I have those sliced, what are these called again? I'm blanking green onions, but they're called something else. Um, I have a white onion, two serrano peppers, and ginger. So I have that all just chilling on a paper plate. And then in the back, I have some naked juice, which I don't really love that stuff because it's not the same as drinking like fresh green juice. It's pasteurized, which means they heat it. So it ends up killing all of the enzymes and the vitamins and minerals and all that stuff. Um, but I guess it's better than soda and Dan likes to drink it uh, as a nice refreshing drink. So there's that. So moving on to the next level, I have some uh, Baby Organics, what is this called? Baby Romaine. Organics, not Baby Organics. Baby Romaine. I have this little Tupperware which has things that have already been cut open. I'm actually on my last tomato and bell pepper. And then there are two onions, a white onion and a red onion. And then over here, I have my dips. So I have Trader Joe's Salsa Especial. I love that stuff. Trader Joe's Bruschetta Sauce. I have a pub cheese in the back, which isn't as healthy, uh, but is really good. And then this salsa from uh, Costco. So that's really good. It's called Garden Fresh Salsa. And it's a different kind of salsa. It kind of has a sweet flavor. And it's really yummy. So then I have my Brita. Ooh. Up here, I have our cheese drawer. We have a mix of regular cheese and um, like vegan cheese too. So this is like soy American cheese. This is soy cheddar cheese. This is completely vegan. You have to look when you're buying for fake cheeses. If you're actually like, you're buying the fake cheese because you really do want it to be not, like you want it to be vegan, read the ingredients because some cheeses mark themselves as vegan and they're not. And the reason that you know is you look for an ingredient called casein and casein is actually the protein that is in um, milk, which is usually the reason why people avoid milk because of the casein um, and the mucus it can create in your body. So if you're looking for vegan cheese, that's something to read the ingredients for. But I'm not a vegan. I just try to not eat a ton of dairy. So if I'm in the mood for some dairy and I notice I've been having too much, I'll reach for vegan cheese. So, um, but we also have regular like organic pepper jack. This Oh my gosh, this cheese is so good from Trader Joe's. It's called Trader Joe's Unexpected Cheddar Cheese, and this stuff is so good. I have little goat cheese medallions from Trader Joe's, which, dude, I highly recommend this stuff because it's goat cheese, but they're wrapped in individual medallions so they don't get dry. We have mozzarella string cheese. We have Swiss cheese, also from Trader Joe's, and then Dan has this Mexican blend for when we make tacos. So. Up here, moving on to like the buttery area, we have Earth Balance for when I'm trying to have a little less dairy. We have organic raw butter, which is actually really, really hard to find. Um, it basically just means it's not pasteurized, so it hasn't been heated to kill off the, I think it's the lactate, I believe it's called, because the reason a lot of people are lactose intolerant is because the process of pasteurization kills off the, I think it's called the lactate. So you become lactose intolerant because you don't have the lactose and the lactate to properly digest the dairy in your system. So you can Google more about that. I didn't give a very good explanation. But then we have organic sour cream. Then we have some random soups if we're feeling lazy, but we want something quick and semi-healthy. This is a vegetarian and lentil soup. I got this at Costco. It's called, oh, barley soup from Cedar Lane. We have this, Dan has a lobster bisque back here and a clam chowder. And then we have organic unsalted, like regular butter. Okay, I gotta get off my knees. Up here, let's see, we have these organic brown eggs. And then we have two things of sourdough bread. So that is what's in the front part of my fridge. Moving over to the left. On the top shelf, we have dressings. So we have the Newman's Own Light Italian, the 
restaurant recipe Italian. I don't use very much salad dressing, so I tend to acquire a lot of bottles because I can't get through one before I get sick of the flavor and want to try something else. Um, I just don't use much salad dressing in my salads, and I'm moving even more away from it. But that's why I have a ton of different flavors that aren't finished. So, Wild Times Parmesan Walnut Caesar Vinaigrette. This Newman's Own Balsamic Vinaigrette, which is really good. Um, the Trader Joe's Red Wine and Olive Oil, also really good. And then the Follow Your Heart Organic Creamy Ranch Salad Dressing. So over here we have actually random prescriptions from when I had surgery, um, a Lush face mask and two Acidophilus, which are like probiotics um, bottles. So moving on to the middle shelf, we have, Here's a bottle of flax oil, 100% organic. We have some organic agave nectar, uh, organic ketchup from Trader Joe's, organic whole chia seeds, which I'm gonna start putting in water and um, or smoothies because apparently chia seeds fall into the gelatin category of food, which helps your body like expel toxins. Um, so when you're, yeah, that's actually the basic. I don't wanna say anything else in case I mess up the wording, but that's the basics. It helps your body expel toxins because the toxins cling to the gel and it gets rid of it. So down here I have raw almond butter. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be good. That looks funky, but I needed some more like peanut butter type thing and I picked that up today at Lassen's. Then I have my favorite pickles ever, Bubby's Pure Kosher Pills. Down here I have my original Veganese. I love this stuff, I'm almost out so I have a backup. I like it a lot. So moving over here we have this Trader Joe's Pesto Alla Genovese, I don't know, basil pesto. Dan has this shredded Parmesan Romano and his Asiago cheeses for like on top of pastas. I just started getting into pepperoncinis and sandwich, so pepperoncinis. Jalapeno peppers. Oh, and then I have banana that was freezing and is now thawing because I'm gonna make ice cream out of it later. A vegan ice cream. I'll have to tell you guys if it's good, and if it's good, I'll show you how to make it. So down here we have like Asian uh, flavorings for when I make Asian soup. This very, very teriyaki. I don't know, it hasn't even been opened, so I don't know. Um, teriyaki marinade and sauce, soy sauce, and or Trader Joe's sweet chili sauce, or sweet Thai chili sauce. Now, over here, we have this really yummy, unsweetened green and white tea that we got at Trader Joe's. It's good. I've only drank a little bit because I was drinking through my other tea from them, which is the green tea with pomegranate blueberry, but that's really good, too. Then I have Rice Dream Organic Rice Milk and Almond Breeze. I think I like Rice Dream better. Um, but I was trying out Almond Breeze because I've heard that Almond Breeze or, and, or Almond Milk is supposedly, it doesn't affect your blood sugar as much because there's fat in almonds as the rice does, but I don't know, that's getting nitpicky and I think I like the rice one better. So, um, it's good. I use it with cereal and yeah, you guys will have to let me know. I'm going to redo my cupboards too and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, like snack foods um all that kind of stuff and yeah okay guys so if you want to show me the inside of your fridge either a picture like on instagram or a tweet or you want to do a video response kind of showing me the inside i would love to see that so if you film the video um put it as a video response but also tweet it to me so i can retweet it and if you take a picture on instagram use the hashtag how to be happy january or this weird short one that we've all come up with htb Wait, H T B J, I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, and use that hashtag or on Twitter, but use the hashtag anytime you're talking to me about the video series because it makes it really easy for me to find um your pictures and videos and all of that stuff on all the different sites and for me to be able to retweet it and like it and watch what you're doing and all that stuff. So yeah, I will see you all on Friday and I'm having so much fun with the series. I love you guys and I'll see you then. Bye. Hide and seek if you want to have some fun. Th